Hello friends and welcome to Realty Buzz, your weekly real estate retina. This is Mansi the way and let's take a look at the show today. Would you like your city to be a smart city? Well, the mission is all set and is deciding the cities which it will consider for a smart city. The philanthropy initiative that was founded by former mayor of New York Michael Bloomberg will act as knowledge partner for the smart city mission. It will assist the government in selecting smart cities. The walk is expected to begin soon. Let's have a look at the story in detail. Bloomberg Philanthropies will assist the Union Ministry of Urban Development in conducting the Cities Challenge competition. To select cities that will be provided financing under the government's ambitious 100 Smart Cities plan. In the first phase of the selection of smart city aspirants, each state will nominate a set of cities based on urban population and number of statutory cities for inclusion under the smart cities mission. This nomination will be based on the set of identified criteria to be suggested by the Ministry of Urban Development. The Union Cabinet had approved the mission for building 100 smart cities last month and had unmarked it, spending rupees 48,000 crore by the centre over the next five years for providing an assistance to offer Rs 100 crore per year for each selected city. The centre and state's urban local bodies will spend about Rs 1 lakh crore on development of smart cities over the next five years. Well, with regards to the next news, we have a debate, more of an argument or a discussion. Name it as for your comfort. And the idea is, would you consider a woman's opinion before buying a house? The maximum number of participants emphasised on the need for jointly made decisions when it comes to crucial topics like real estate. But real estate is no longer just about a man's dilemma, decision or money. Let's take a look. As per a survey, 85% of the home buyers agree to the fact that a woman is an angel of the house and one cannot afford to disappoint her. A sales executive with a leading Pune-based developer's firm say, even if the man pays, women is the bigger decision maker, especially when the house is for end use. Women are somehow able to conceptualize the interiors and the layout better. It is learned that women are far more outgoing in the real estate circles than the last decade. Not only is a married woman in the decision-making process, single women are taking such financial matters in this strike too. Although the proportion is small, single women and even widows are buying property, financing and entire purchase all by themselves. And the next news on board is an extension of the last one which says better facilities for women when it comes to home loans. With a sharp vision of women empowerment, the country is all set to draft policies on legal structures which encourages the women population. With the number of facilities being provided to women, real estate too has taken care of the same. Let's take a look. SBI offers cheapest home loans to women at 9.85%. State Bank of India announced a further reduction of 10 basis points in its home loan rate, followed by second reduction to its regain, its position as the cheapest home loan provider. Following the announcement, new borrowers at SBI will get loans at 9.85%. If there is a women applicant, a 9.9% in all other cases. The Reserve Bank of India's nudge to bankers to bring down lending rates has upset the equilibrium among the top banks, with every lender offering loans at almost the same rate of 10.1%. Although the bank has announced its new benchmark rates, they are yet to announce the spreads for their home loans under the new rate structure. So on this note, it's a wrap around for this episode of Priyanti Buzz. We will be back with more on this. Till then, goodbye, take care and keep watching Spinty.